last night these guys hatched and our power went out. And our power was out, I know, a good four or five hours. It was pretty bad, actually. And my first thought was, oh crap, what am I gonna do about the quail? They have no way of heating. Um, because they were in the incubator. Everybody had just hatched, nobody was fluffed out yet. And I wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna do with them. Right now, I just have like a regular desk lamp. Um, I'll show you a picture of what happened, but last night, or yesterday afternoon actually, um, some of them had hatched and I moved them out of the incubator into the brooder. I went to the store and while I was at the store, I came home and the guts out of the inside of my heater just had, fell. Yeah, it just fell and landed on one of the chicks, burned it alive, caught the bedding on fire, caught the brooder on fire and I came home to my laundry room basically on fire. It burnt a hole through my floor. I'll show you a picture of that. And then the scary part was is that my husband is asleep at the house during the day. And so he sleeps with earplugs so that the noise of the kids and you know what not have you will not disturb him. So he could have died. He would not have heard fire alarms so, I was very glad that nothing bad happened. This will be the last chick hatching of the season. These are going to go to the lady um, who bought them, and that is the end of that. We will not be hatching any more babies until I can buy the Berencia, um brooder. So, that being said, be careful with those heat lamps. They don't always work. But, what happens if you have no heat? <laughs> You have no electricity. I'm going to show you a little trick that I did last night that is working even now that I don't have a heater. I just took a Ziploc sandwich baggie and filled it with nice hot water. And hold on a second, guys. Scoot over. They know what it is already. And ever so often, I will come back and make sure to fill it up. I put a little bit of bedding on it so it's not too warm on their feet, which I'm sure it's not. But I just fill it up with nice hot water. I don't fill it all the way up. I just put some water in it so that it's squishy and they get on it like a little heated water bed. <laughs> and that's how I'm keeping my quail warm with no heater because this lamp will get somewhat warm. I mean, it helps kind of retain the heat, but it most definitely does not keep them warm. But you see, you put it in, everybody gets quiet and they get snuggled down because it's nice and toasty warm. But I do put the bedding on so it's not slippery. But this is just a, an easy way to keep your babies warm if something should happen and you do not have heat. Um, power goes out for whatever reason. Just in an emergency situation, this definitely would be something that's a pain in the rear to do every hour or so, every two hours to have to change this out, especially at night time. But if it keeps them warm, I'll put your extra bedding on there, you're sliding around. Um, but if it keeps them warm, then it's very well worth it. Very, very well. <laughs> Whoop. So that's how I kept them warm last night with no power. <laughs>